Good morning everybody, it's Monday and yeah, I thought we'd do a weekly vlog, we haven't done one for a little while, just simply because my phone's knackered because Jennifer broke it, and I did start doing one but it's been pretty boring because I haven't had my own car, I'm not, I still haven't got a car, I'm driving my dad's now, maybe, oh god, I can't even speak, it's so early, I'm driving my dad's car just so that he doesn't have to get up at stupid o'clock to take us to work at nursery in the morning. Sales have been okay. Um, it's the 30th of September and I have exceeded profits for last month, so I've beaten that. Um, I, like I said, I don't expect to necessarily... It's very hard to hold this camera in the car because of the, um, the windshield um, in October because I am going on holiday for a little bit. We are going away, aren't we? Is that you? Yeah. Well, my hands are shaking, that's not good. Um, yeah, we're going away, so I don't expect to exceed it or even maybe even make a profit, you know, because sales dip. Because I have to put an extended dispatch time on. Oh, my shed's going up, so that's going to be good. I'll show you that when we get home. Hopefully, if the weather holds off, the guy will be putting the doors on today and then doing the floor. And then I can start moving stuff in, and that includes all of Jennifer's outside toys she hasn't got many at the moment but she will have soon and we need to put them somewhere in the winter so um yeah we're at nursery i'm going to get her out now and we're going to go in and she can have some fun and i'm going to go to work so i will see you later on today bye so work's over and i'm just coming up to have a look at the shed because phil's been here working on it as you can see the paddling pool is empty and it's a little bit full so let's have a look as you can see, it's a very big shed. Oh, yeah. So you can't see a lot, it's very dark. He's going to put a light in there. And at the moment he's going to uh, get some flooring. That one works. So we'll just uh, have to see how it goes. So yeah, looking forward to that. Hello. Just playing with the doors. They're on. So it's Monday night and um, I photographed a load of jumpers today. I'm not sure about my maybe 10 or so items. I just flat laid them because um, uh, there was a lot of shrugs in there, open cardigan stuff that can't go onto the mannequin and some jumpers with pat pictures on them and they I'm so tired um, they're all photographed and drafted I've just got to do the measurements which I'll do tomorrow uh, after I've done some photographing tomorrow I've had two sales today which is good profits are up this month hooray and uh, but I'm only posting one because the other one came in too late for me to do it's bedtime now um, Tomorrow I'm going to photograph skirts, I think, because I've got one bag of tops left. But because Maisie fell over the other day and fell apart, I had to take her skirt off. So I think I'll just put skirts on her and then do some dresses and, and get those done. I'm so tired. And then we'll go back to tops. I've actually only got one bag of tops, ladies' tops left, so I'll have to have a look tomorrow, see if there's anything worth picking up down there. Tat sale, as I call it. So this evening, Paul was watching the football when we put Jennifer to bed, and I was listening to Good Omens on the uh, Audible and uh, doing some colouring. I'll show you what I've been doing. So I am currently working on this book from uh, Romantic Country, The Second Tale by Eerie. This one's been hanging around for a while. We started it on a colouring catch up and never finished it I've just got all the books to do so I've been doing that but obviously tomorrow begins Horrortober so tomorrow we'll be filming and colouring in the horror books or the Halloween books um, John the Bibliophile Carolist <laughs> um, is doing The Beauty of Horror 2 at the moment The Shining Twins so we'll probably start that as well because that was one that somebody wanted on a colouring catch-up. So by the time you've seen this, I should hopefully have filmed the first part. I also will be filming my um, September wrap-up of everything I coloured. A couple from August and all from September because I've actually done a few this, this month so I'm really pleased. Shed's coming on, full, part of the floor's down, doors are on as, as you saw. The floor's partly down. Hopefully I'll be back tomorrow to finish the door, the, the floor off and put a light in. Um, 
and then we can start moving stuff out there which would be great so that's it for Monday I'm off to bed go to go to sleep because uh, obviously tomorrow's another day and I've got to go back to work Ugh. I'll see you tomorrow I can't find the off switch to get this camera good morning everybody it is Tuesday the 1st of October and Jennifer's all cuddled up in her car seat, ready for nursery, aren't you? Mm. Yeah. Got yeah. nice new leggings on from Nana Sally. Which is Paul's mum. I don't know if you can see me. I'm going to just flip the thing up so I can see me. Um, yeah, it's not a very nice day. It's raining. It's horrible. My shed's still not finished, so. Um, like I said, part of the floor's down. And I don't think... All right, darling. He'll be coming today. Somebody's impatient to get out, so we won't be long. So today's plan of action is obviously go to work. This is why we're here. And then I've got one item to post, which I'm going to post. Because um, I need to go and get some money out of the bank anyway, ready for the holiday and to give Carl for the new car when I finally get it. Um, so I'm going to go to my usual sale and see if there's anything to pick up. I've had three sales this morning, nothing high value. We're all talking about five, six, seven pound items. But these items cost me between 33 and 50 pence each. Nothing's more than 50p at the moment. I'm not buying stuff that costs more than that. If I buy a dress, I might buy it for a pound, but not much more than that. Everything I get is like 50p, so I can afford to sell it for a fiver um, and take what comes in. So it's not huge profits, but it's a profit. So I'm gonna get her out because she is not happy and get her into nursery. I will see you after work. We will be filming Horrortober today as well, I hope. And I can't find the button again. So back home from work now and the shed is finished apparently. He said if it leaks, which it shouldn't, but if it does, he will come and put some silicone on it. Oh wow. It's very dark, you won't be able to see very much because there's no light in here yet. He's gonna put a light in. Oh so I'm five foot five and I can pretty much walk around without any problem. So yeah, pleased with that. So it's not been cheap, but it's done. I've always got all the rubbish to get rid of and uh, get the stuff in, which won't be today because I've actually got a bad back. So let's do the doors. Should, yeah, they'll padlock together nicely. And uh, it's done, lovely. Shed life is on. I've got to put that paddling pool down this weekend. There's a little bit of water in it, it needs a clean, but most of it's out now. So, yeah, I've got a bad back for some reason today. Not sure why. I think I might have slept awkwardly, so I'm gonna go and have a rest. Um, managed to pick up some nice tat today. I say tat, I bought um, four tops. Nothing special in the tops, but I did get two nice jackets. One's a Karen Millen and one's a Jaeger, so they were £1.50 each. So pleased with that. I'm not going to leave them behind for £1.50, am I? Let's be honest. So, yeah, I'm going to go get a change, get a drink, try and get rid of this backache, and then do some work. I'm going to try and photograph some skirts this afternoon if I can. So, I've packed up parcels. We've got five going out tomorrow. Um, and I'm about to start filming couple of videos tonight. I was going to do some measuring. I've got a bag of stuff there to measure. But I'll be honest, I've got a bad back and I just want to go to bed. So I've got to phone my film, even my wrap up of what I um, coloured in September and August, because there's a couple from August. And then I'm going to film my first part of Horrortober, which you'll have seen by the time you see this video. So we're picking up a different car tomorrow. This is um, possibly a keeper. It depends how I get on with it or alone. It's a Honda Civic. So you'll be seeing that tomorrow. It'll be nice not to have to borrow Dad's car all the time. So I'm going to go and change memory cards and crack on with filming. We're going to use the watercolour pencils tonight. I've never done any watercolouring before with pencils, so this will be fun. Morning. It's still very difficult filming in this car because of the... I don't know. Anyway, morning. It's Wednesday. Yes, it's the last day of driving my dad's Astra. Tonight I'll be driving a Honda. It's not my car, it's a borrower, but it'll at least get me around and get me to the airport next Tuesday. Jennifer's ready for nursery, honey baby. Yeah, can you see yourself? 
Oh, she's smiling. Ah, oh. so today I've got to go obviously and get the Honda, get it insured. I'm going to bring the insurance company, put the baby seat in, and then we'll be moving um, stuff into the shed this afternoon. The light's not brilliant in this one. Yeah, it's not good. I probably should have the ND filter on. But I keep forgetting to turn it on off because obviously I'm using it indoors at night for filming my colouring videos. Anyway, I'm off to work. Go get Jennifer out of the car. I'll see you this afternoon. So it's Wednesday night and uh, <coughs> just measured and packed all this stuff. This can now go up the shed. Obviously not tonight because it's dark, but I'll show you that tomorrow when I take it up. So all my boxes are in there and there's tons of space. Got one item packaged up that I've just sold. I'll be taking that tomorrow and I'm going to go and have a snack and some colouring. So I've got myself a piece of cake and a cup of tea. And I'm going to sit here and watch some um, videos. Oh, there's one I want to watch, Super West and his unboxing of records that have been in storage for four plus years. And I'm going to start colouring this picture, which is a cemetery from the Jade Summer Book Haunted House. I've had this a good couple of years and I've not done anything. So in keeping with my trying to colour a page in every book I've got regarding with reference to Halloween, I'm going to do this. So I've started one in the Jade Summer Halloween book. That one's upstairs because I do up, go up and sit upstairs for half an hour when I get home from work when Jennifer's asleep because she won't sleep if I'm in the room. She'll just want to play, but she doesn't. She's so tired that she gets stroppy. So I just leave her and um, go upstairs and do a bit of colouring. And then when she comes to sleep, I come back down and do stuff. So I'm going to sit here and have a cup of tea. So it's been a quite boring day vlog. Nothing happened with the car. I still haven't got a car. I'm not even going to go into that. Excuse me, I'm so tired. I'll be going to bed as soon as I've had my tea and cake. So I'm just going to chill out, watch this video I want to watch, and eat this cake and start colouring this graveyard. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the morning. Hey guys, it's Thursday afternoon. I didn't do an introduction this morning to Thursday because uh, we were running, well, we weren't running late, we were running on time, but the traffic was horrendous, so we were uh, a couple of minutes late getting to nursery, so I just didn't have time to do anything. So today we've been sorting out the spare room where all the boxes were. I'll show you now, it's still a mess, but it is getting there. So I'm just gonna turn you around. So. See, there's Maisie, excuse her nakedness. All my books. So where this is, this is my lamp. That's where all the boxes were before and I could not get to any of the books. Now, at the moment, this is all still bags of stock that needs photographing and listing. Um, spare lamp and a notebook, so I have a notebook. Um, more books, as you can see. Um, but now the room is getting back to normal and I've got it back and I can get to my book collection, which is great. Uh, that's it for today, really. I might do some colouring later, make some videos. But tomorrow I'm going to be trying to photograph some bags of stock because I've got a ton of stock down there. As you can see. Got some nice bits today. So I'm just going to get that photographed as much as I can tomorrow. So I can clear a bit more space in this room because I want it all out and done. So literally what I want is that uh, every time I buy something, I bring it home and I either photograph it the same day or the next day. Even if it doesn't get drafted and listed immediately, that's what I want. So I'm going to go for now because um, my back's hurting. So I'm going to have a rest. And then, yeah, I'm going to do... a. Uh, some drafting today. I've got some drafted. I just need to put measurements in. So I'm going to try and put all the measurements in for all that stuff so I can get five listed tonight. And tonight I'm going to be filming the next part of Cohen Catch Up Beauty of Horror Shining Twins, um, which we're doing along with um, John for Biblio Horror. And um, I've also got a couple of flip throughs that I need to film of uh, the new Deborah Muller and the new. Colour in Heaven book which I picked up yesterday which I really like so I know there's already flip throughs out there but I like to put the flip throughs up they just give a little bit extra on the channel so that's it for now I'm gonna grab a quick snack before getting tea a bit later so I'll see you all soon morning everybody it's Friday it's the last day of the week four and a half hours down between me and the weekend 
yay so we're at nursery it's a bit gray it's spotting with rain it's not too bad yet but uh, it's supposed to get worse so we'll have to see how it goes because i'm supposed to take my mum shopping later because we didn't go yesterday because i had the doctors which everything was fine on so today's plan of action is get the four and a half hours done jennifer can you see yourself Oh, she's so cute. Um, yeah, get the four and a half hours done. Take mum shopping. And then the plan is to go into the spare room now. It's a lot emptier. And photograph um, some skirts and those two really nice jackets. Um, basically photograph as much as I can to get it out of that room. Packed into poly bags and put in the shed. Just so I can get everything organised. Because there's still a lot of stock in that room. So it's no good sitting there unlisted. It's not going to earn me any money just sitting there. And we had the first no sale day in a week yesterday. Bama. But yeah, let's get on with the day, shall we, Jen Jen? Yeah, she wants to get out of the car. She don't like being in the car. When we've stopped, it's time to get out. So I'll see you after work and we will uh, see how it's going. See what we're up to. Bye. Morning, it's Saturday morning. I didn't wrap up yesterday because nothing happened. Didn't know eBay, nothing. I'm on holiday and I'm loving it. We are going out now to see the Renny Svelica film 2D. So, I love Judy Garland, so we're going to go and watch that at the cinema. We're dropping Jennifer off at Nana's and Grandad's. And then we're going to go. Oh, she wants to see what's going on. There you go. Oh, is that you? Yeah. It's you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, we're going to drop her off and we're going to go into Newport, do a few bits, and um, go and see the movie. So, I'll see you in a bit. So, we're at the cinema now. I don't know why I'm talking quietly because it's ages to the film and there's no one else in here yet. It's just me. Paul's just popped to the loo. There are a couple of other seats booked, but not many. I don't think it's going to be busy somehow. Right, I've got my popcorn and my Diet Pepsi, which is a big one, but me and Paul tend to share it. So I've done everything I needed to do in town. So I'm just getting shit, sit and chill out while I wait for the movie to start. Hi guys, I'm back from the cinema. I'm going to say I really enjoyed the film. <coughs> I know it's not 100% accurate, but no biopic is. And you just have to take that into consideration when watching it. Um, yes, there are lots of different things that weren't correct. There were, there were quite a lot of things that weren't right, obviously. Um, with regards to Mickey Deans, Judy met him in uh, a couple of years before it's insinuated she did. Um, and then I met him again. He wasn't about managing some tiny little speakeasy or dive. He was actually managing a very, very, very well-respected nightclub called Arthur's in New York. And he didn't just turn up in London. He actually went with her when she left to go for the Talk of the Town engagement. Um, Talk of the Town engagement, I thought they did it really well. I really enjoyed that, those sections. Um, she was not fired from Talk of the Town. And Bernard Delfont said she was welcome back to the talk of town at any time she wanted to that yes she had her moments but she was worth it and that she was welcome to perform there any time she needed to or wanted to and um, they all adored her uh, with regards to the custody of the children that is another hotly debated and discussed matter in the sense that joey had been living with his father for a while and never did they um, perform in small clubs for 150 dollars with their mother they did perform with her but it was at um, the palace um, and Lorna then decided she wanted to stay with Sid rather than travel constantly with Judy. Um, she did want to get back to them. She loved them very, very much. She did. Uh, so, that, that, you know, there was lots of little things like that. That Yes, it's not re it makes it not real. It wasn't going to be real. It's a biopic. If they'd have taken that out and made it what really happened, there wouldn't have been any drama and it wouldn't have made for a good a film. Overall, I enjoyed it. I'm glad that it only went up to the end of the talk of the town and left it on that sort of, almost a positive note on the fact that they're saying that she could carry on and, and do other things. Another thing that was insinuated was that um, after the movie theater chain that Mickey Deans was trying to arrange fell through, that they weren't together anymore. They were, they were together the day, till the day she died. And it was Fat Mickey that discovered her body in the bathroom of their Chelsea um, home. Renee Zwelliger. Yes, okay, she's not Judy Garland. She doesn't sing like Judy Garland, you know, she's, this is the problem. You get somebody like Judy Garland who was a brilliant singer, a brilliant dancer, a brilliant actor, 
and you get somebody who is a good, act, great actress. She's, I, I love Renée Zellweger. I've, I've loved a lot of things that she's done. Put her in that thing and everybody's going to knock it. I think she did a very good job. There were times when she sounded very much like Judy. There were times when she resembled Judy's look. Saying that though, there were times when she sounded like Marge Simpson. So I'm not going to lie. Um, and I thought that was, cause was quite distracting when that happened. She sang all her own songs in the, 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 the film. It, she did not um, lip sync to Judy. She actually performed the songs live. So obviously she doesn't sound like Judy Garland would. Nobody does. I'm sorry, nobody does. But I think she acquitted herself very, very well with the singing. Renee Zwelliger can sing, and I think she did very well. It was a very moving film. I left feeling emotionally drained. Maybe because I know more about Judy than we learn in the film. And I, I can see past the film and see it for what it is, and I can enjoy it for what it is, but I also know that's not 100% what happens, nowhere near 100% what happened. But for a biopic, it's a very good attempt. I mean, it's for years they've been making films on Marilyn and they've over, you know, over dramatized everything. They always focus on the negative. Of course they do. It's what sells tickets. They're there to make money. My point is, it was a very good film. Renée Zwelliger was very good at Judy Garland. I, I thought she was very moving at points, very moving. And I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna put it this way. If it can get a whole new generation of people into Judy Garland, and it's already happening because Carnegie Hall uh, is, is climbing the charts, the iTunes charts apparently. People are downloading it, they wanna listen to it because they've seen the film, they wanna know more. If you can get a whole new generation of people enjoying Judy Garland's work, her performances, her films, her music, and then also make them look into the real story, is that such a bad thing? I don't think it is if they get, you know, if we get, a, it gets a lot of people into Judy Garland. On this note, I'm hoping to, at some point in the future, not too far future, film my Judy Garland collection. I don't have a huge collection. I have some photos, I have some magazines, I have a load of books and some films and video cassettes, um, some of which are up in the attic, so I will need to find them. But I'm thinking of doing a Judy Garland collection video just so you can see what I've got. And like I said, it's mostly books, CDs and records mostly and a lot of some of the films um so i will show you that i uh, hope you want to see that if you do let me know in the comments below i'm, I'm gonna do it anyway so you're gonna see it if you want to it's gonna be there i just can't guarantee when i've got a, a long list of videos that i need to make including some marilyn book reviews that i haven't done yet because i've been naughty um, but yeah that's what i thought of the film i really enjoyed it I, for what it was it was a good film it was enjoyable and if it can bring people to judy and get them interested in her and give her whole legend a new lease of life then i'm all for it so and that being said that's it for now um, i may do a bit of filming later but i want to watch the bibliophile colorists beauty of horror shining girls part three so i've done two parts of mine one's been uploaded um the second one will be uploaded before this is um, and I'm going to be filming part three hopefully tonight. So I just want to go and watch his part three to see how he's getting on. So I'll try and catch you all later. Bye. Morning everyone. It's Sunday. As you can see, Jennifer's climbing the steps to the garden. Yeah. Clever girl. It's a bit chilly up here today, isn't it? Bit of a breeze. I'm at the shed, people. I'm taking the lock off. So I'm going in. Whee! It's very dark. Cool. I have had a sale and I've got some stock to put away so I'm gonna do that you'll be able to see the shed better once uh, we have the light put in but I'm going in so we're at the park because it's such a nice day as you can see the sky is blue so we thought we'd come down and bring Jennifer down and she ran straight to the swing we were having a bit of lunch from Greg's she was in the other swing and then she wanted to get out and go in the swing so because she's a funny girl. She's enjoying herself, aren't you, darling? And we've got a drink for her when she's ready. And then there's football this afternoon, isn't there, Paul? Yes, there is. So Paul will be watching, is it Newcastle United? Yeah. Newcastle versus Manu this afternoon yeah. at four o'clock. I will be probably doing some eBay photos. Hopefully Jennifer will have a sleep. And when I've done some photos, I might even do a bit of colouring. I don't know, sit with, sit with Paul and do some colouring. Back at the shed, I've got another couple of items to pull, so I'm going to do that and I'm going to wrap this vlog up for this week here. 
who knows when the next one will be. It's probably have a week off next week because my life's pretty damn boring and the gate's banging so I can't be too long. So I'm going to pull these two items and then get them packed up and then I'm going to make edit this video together and crack on with it. I want to get some calorie done, I want to finish the uh, what I've got in my Jade Summer book that was on the go so I wouldn't do that tonight. It's still nice out here. It's a bit chilly but it's nice. So that's it for this weekly vlog. Hope you've enjoyed it. We will do another one soon. I'm, I'm going in there to get my items and then uh, it'll be time for tea. So I will see you all soon with another video. Probably a calorie one. So uh, see you soon. Bye.